one of the important areas to be considered by language teachers in the writing process is how to organize ideas. I mean, this is what we often hear from most of our students that they have nothing to say or they are slow writers or they are they feel blank about uh, so organizing ideas uh, is important area to be considered by language teachers especially in the classroom um, you know in this regard we can discipline our students how to put their ideas in a in an organized manner uh, one of the ways is to choosing uh, to choose tasks which are relevant and appealing to the students that will allow them to put their own point of view uh, put, to put their own perspective so uh, for example if we want our students to organize their ideas in assignments in examinations that can be even more challenging why because they are doing academic stuff they are scared of the grades so before putting them to into the academic stuff we can expose them to their own personal narrative writings narrative writings like letter writing like writing to each other or writing to parents or writing to the ministry writing to teachers can help them put their own point of view put their own perspective so of course we cannot deny this that the efficient organization of ideas of course adds uni uniqueness uh, to the writing so this is important we cannot deny the significance of organizing ideas when we talk about the writing process the writing process it's it's the heart and soul organizing ideas is the heart and soul of the writing process and in this regard once we have uh, exposed our students to personal writing to the narrative writing for example to the cause and effect relationship to classification uh, or exemplification or descriptive writing then we can uh, expose them to uh, tasks of academic nature uh, when before we before exposing them to the tasks of academic nature we need to tell them uh, the rubrics, the assessment criteria, like how much emphasis will be given to grammar and vocabulary, how much emphasis will be given to the overall structure of the assignment, how much emphasis or mark will be given to the uh, coherent flow of the natural flow of the ideas, how much uh, emphasis will be given to the introduction, uh, which contains clear signposting, guiding readers about the different parts of the assignment. So this is how we can also uh, develop uh, the habit of using headings and subheadings and then in this regard it's important to show students uh, before uh, putting them into organizing we can show them model answers how successful writers put their ideas together in in a coherent meaningful uh, text yeah so this is how uh, we can apply different procedures um, uh, procedures which work for our students which work for our particular Pakistani context and uh, in this regard um, extensive reading um, can uh, make students uh, see how successful writers organize or put their ideas together in a coherent manner in a particular text